It's a long time. Well, thank you for joining yes. us tonight. Uh, we also enjoy getting together for the cultural affairs and tourism meeting. And uh, now that we have it hybrid, we get a few more people to join us. And, and uh, instead of, you know, coming out in this, well, almost murky weather, mm -hmm. uh, load your cars tonight because tomorrow it's going to rain. That's what I just did before I came over. Uh, we have a number of things going on. Uh, later on this month, I think it's on the 23rd, a Tuesday evening at 6, is the uh, Waldo uh, Safety Watch. So they're gathering here, and uh, we did it a few months ago, and so it's trying to make a difference in our own communities, keep an eye on what's going on, and uh, so I'm glad to oh, be Oh, you mean the Crime it. Watch dog? Crime Watch. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, I, yeah, I, I, I don't, I may look like McGruff sometimes, no. but, um, <laughs> you know, uh, but it, it, again, it's a good thing for different community, parts of the community to be doing, and... Uh, you know, we're in the north end. It doesn't mean that we have no issues, because if you want any issues, you just still drive through the north end and you can feel it. Uh, but uh, we're glad to get together with some of our neighbors. Oh, somebody's giving us some back feed, but um, th th that's okay. And then also on happening in Brockton.com, you'll catch uh, many of the events that are going on throughout the city. When people send me an email uh, to rdrconsult at gmail.com, uh, you know, uh, we'll put it up there so that others can know about it. We do get quite a few hits every month, which is good. Uh, we'd like to get more, especially as we get into the, well, but still speaking in the future, the summer months when all kinds of activities are going on. So, um, let's see, I think that's all I have right now that was not on the agenda. So, Anne, if you want to come on up, and I know you have a very long list of yes. things. Yes, yeah, we have some good ones. And okay. Some good ones. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, everyone, it's very, very important that you let us know um, so we can announce it. Um, Broughton Community <laughs> Access always encourages you to send out their information. They can send it to Michelle at M-I-S-H-E-L-L-E -L -L -E at BCATV.org. And you're always welcome to do public service announcements. BCA is open Monday through Friday, 10 to 8, and on Saturdays, 10 to 3. And again, you're always welcome to learn about taking out the equipment, have podcasts, have your own show, have, do public service announcements, help out on a show. A lot of good stuff going on here. So, okay, welcome. Thursday, April 11th. And, uh, yeah, we had the eclipse and things are happening, people. Things are happening for the positive. So here we go. First of all, for the 47th season, 47 that is, and the final one, the Kids Road Races begin on Saturday, April 27th, okay? Um, come on up there, 9.30, register, the road, road race goes on at 10, okay? This is at DW Field Park, and um, www.kidsroadraces.org, and um, Dave Gorman and his wife Judy Gorman have been doing this. And Dave Gorman was 30 years old when he started. He's a fish. He's now 77. So that's um, how would I say sticking it out for a while. <laughs> okay. Brockton Garden Club is having their meeting uh, fourth Monday of the month on Earth Day of all things. Okay. Yes. Um, and that's going on at um, doors open at 6:30. Our Lady of Lords, and it's going to be all about bees. Now get this, Massasoit Community College STEM students are nationally recognized. Okay, people? And they're going to be presenting the bees. The doors open at 6.30, Our Lady of Lords. Um, for those of you that need a GPS, I believe the address is 439 West Street. The parking is on Tory Street. This is always free and open to the public. Last month, we had Sean Kent, the, man the manager of education for the Mass Audubon Society, Massachusetts Audubon Society statewide, and people were glued. 
Uh, they weren't letting them leave. They were asking so many questions. If it wasn't about bees, it was about owls and all the ones that are in DW Field Park looking at us. So we have to behave. And um, not only that, but um, all these birds and the migration. It was just phenomenal. Okay. Uh, Massasoit Community College is celebrating Earth Day. And get this. They asked people about volunteering, cleaning up the campus. They were overwhelmed with individuals signing up to volunteer. So, you know, when people say things, eh, eh, no. Um, that is being held again on Monday, April 22nd, but that's 10 to 2. The public is invited to check it out, whatever, and always visit Massasoit Community College's campus on the east side of Brockton, right near the Whitman border here. Brockton Garden Club is selling geraniums. All the proceeds go to scholarships. We give out two scholarships a year, and they're selling for $5.50 each, okay? And you can check us out, or you can contact <laughs> Lisa Crowley at, uh, let's see, L-E Crowley 1 at yahoo.com. And um, let's see, they come in salmon, red, pink, white, and mystery. Did I name them all here, Pastor? You just You got them all. Yeah, you just ordered a ton of them. So anyway, okay. Now, be on the lookout for the Broughton High Musical because remember, they just won statewide recognition, their drama club. So let me tell you, if you always want something great going on, you want to see this take place. Okay. Next, boy, um, I realize how short I am because you can only see the top of my head here. Imagine. Okay, now T-ball and baseball and the spring soccer season are kicking in. And um, I know this because <laughs> they've been having umpire training. <laughs> um, and uh, no, seriously, the kids um, and the announcers and the kids are lining up. All right, next, let's see. The Broughton Garden Club is having their plant sale on Saturday, May 18th. That's predominantly a save the date because uh, mobs of people line up before we even open the gates. For the sale, it's always held at the Parks and Rec Department, which is on Meadow Lane. It's a dead-end street, and it opens at like 8.30, and people are lining up at quarter of 8, okay? But anyway, again, all the proceeds there go to um, projects that go on throughout the city, continual ones like DW Hill Park, the um, two fire stations, um, downtown, um, let's see, uh, and then there's sporadic ones, and then there's recognition for soldiers. Uh, I mean, the, the list goes on. Let's see here. Oh, and save the day for Saturday, June 15th, Juneteenth. We'll have a whole lot more on those last two. All right, and um, as I mentioned, oh, and the next meeting is Thursday, May 9th, again at 6 p.m. All right, now anybody on, on here want to make any announcements? I see Pat Monte, but she has a microphone off, so she's just come back from the eclipse, and uh, which was phenomenal. And we have Cindy Pendergrass there that's going to be letting us know about cleanups and what have you for Frederick Douglass. And um, Mary Waldron is not on for DBA, but I can tell you the next DBA meeting is supposed to be Wednesday, uh, the 17th of April at 1130. You can either Zoom or you can come to her office at um, 70 School Street. But I know she's going to be a grandma pretty soon. And for the first time, so people get really excited about that. So anyway, okay, next, um, I think I really covered most of these, um, you know, and I'm not giving it all justice. I know that there's um, the voices, uh, voices um, with uh, Philip Historis, the former, um, I'm sorry, uh, Poet Laureate for the city. There is um, various events going on at the library that people have mobilized on different, you know, because uh, school vacation and there's a lot of activities for the kids to participate in community-wide. I know there's going to be a couple of art exhibits. Oh, and I do want to mention one. Um, this woman named, well, she goes by the nickname Sweets. Anyway, she does some programs for mental health and art. And she's going to have an art exhibit at the Broughton Main Library, 304 Main Street, opening up on uh, May 1st. 
And again, that's free to the public in the Driscoll Gallery. So I don't know. Did I forget anything? Um, and I hate to interrupt you, yeah. but um, I'm inside my my work in Santa Harbor One Bank, and they're going to be locking up in about five minutes. So, okay, no problem. Um, I, I, yeah, I'm going to have to leave here pretty quick <laughs> so I don't get locked in. But um, but um, thank you for for sending the invite. I'm always um, I was always uh, wanting to join more times before yeah, this. No problem. But no I problem. couldn't. But I just couldn't with other other priorities. But um, yeah. but anyway, thank you. I did want to mention that um, the Keep Rockton Beautiful event is going to be on May 18th this year. That's right. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so that's going to be coming up, and so to coincide with that, um, uh, Carol Griffin and I were. Okay. Had a great idea to put together a group to come over and, and make the Frederick Douglass Garden sure. our focus yeah. on that day and do the surrounding areas, you know, around Legion Parkway and uh, Penny Lane. And and um, so okay. we'll yeah. hopefully do that. And also, um, I just sent an email out to um, people that normally are involved in the garden, but um, Cynthia Hodges approached me and said that she, had, um, she has a Juneteenth event that she has been doing for years um, that's a multi-city and this year they want to include coming over to the garden to do a reading and that's going to be on June 15th. It's not not to be confused with the city's Juneteenth because they have their own. Oh, okay. But, um, yeah, but, but she, they've been doing one, yes, you're 100% yes. right, with um, oh, the African American Association of Rockton, yes. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, um, and then she also talked to um, Home Depot and they have they take on three projects a year for beautification and they when she mentioned that she was you know going to do this event they they told her you need to, to send us pictures and they want to donate gravel to do walkways and mulch and things like that for the garden so that's all we're we that's in the stuff. works yeah. all right so that's exciting so um, so yeah, the garden is, is uh, going forward, and you know if we have any other um, cleanup day besides that, I'll be sure to, to let Please. everybody know. Oh yeah, well we'll keep on sending out. Thank you for joining us. And Thank don't you. Get I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate Bye. you. Nice to see you all. Uh, nice great to see you. See you. Thank too. you. Bye bye. All right. Does anybody else have any? Miles. Yes. Um, yeah. Just one announcement. This Saturday, April thirteenth, they're having a poetry night at the Brockton Beer Company on oh. Main Street. Okay. And um, I'll be providing the music in between. Oh, fun. Poetry. Starting at 6, the poetry won't start till 7, but um, nice everybody's welcome to yeah. come out and have a cold beer or whatever you'd like to drink. But uh -huh. if you ever been to Boston Beer Company, very nice place. Yeah, it is. And, and they have really great french fries. Yeah. <laughs> and really yes, great potato chips. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. That's terrific. Meanwhile, yeah. <laughs> since you're on, I want you to hear this because you're involved with the nonprofit, and I know you're an officer. Um, there's this whole new policy that began January 1st for 501c3s that hold raffles. Okay, and yeah. uh, people might want to check this out. www.mass.gov/guides slash guidance on raffles because uh, this is a whole new record keeping situation and all this is in existence now because of online sports betting. So it just started in January and um, they, you know, I have this printout that I got because we do it with the Garden Club and our Federation statewide had trainings and uh, downloaded there. And um, as I you know, mentioned all these positives, I send out to people when I see this, and it can pertain to you, and some organizations, it works out for them, that Mass Cultural Council, and I really advise people to check it out, that they're having more grant funding, and today at the State House, uh, or yesterday at the State House, yeah, yesterday at the State House, 29 million going in, um, this was voted by Ways and Means in the House, to support more funding for the creative arts, which means music, history, um, a, a, a historical uh, situations. What am I thinking? Dance, uh, which I wish we'd have more of. And um, 
you know, variety of concerts, etc. And that's really encouraging. And what's really good about it is that some of this funding would be allowed for um, structural. And that, you know, I mean, needless to say, uh, you know, structures, uh, how would I say it, need to be restored periodically. And so I want to want to mention that. And so I always try to blast it out. So Pat Montaigne, I know we're not going to have another eclipse in this area for 20 years. And I don't know if you'll still have your floating planetarium or, or if we'll be on Mars then. But anyway, um, anything else going on you can tell us? Um, no, I'm just getting ready. I'm going to be doing um, programs, uh, planetarium shows at all 11 elementary schools. All right. Excellent. Everybody remember that this is Pat Monteith, the remarkable volunteer. Yes. <laughs> yes. So this is all good stuff. So this is what you hear every month. It doesn't last long. And now this is going to be edited and going to be played on BCA. And is also they have a YouTube connection. I'm not going to you know, lie to you. I don't know how to do the YouTube connection. <laughs> but meanwhile, yeah, there are other concerts going on. And since I'm up here, I will mention one. Um, that Symphony's final concert for the year. This is phenomenal because it's multicultural and they're going to have Spanish, Portuguese, and whatever. And this is going to be at the um, Broughton, um, I'm sorry, Christ Congregational Church on Sunday, April 28th. And the tickets are going fast. Their last event was sold out. There was standing room only. So people still do like culture. And uh, we have somebody else walking in here. Um, James um, Bruce here, who has his own um, printing business in Broughton, but he wants to announce his project with, um, that he received a grant with Cultural um, Council for Broughton, and he wants to mention this, so I'm going to pass it over again. All right. Hello. Don't look at the computer, look at the camera. Oh, yeah, I, I, I made the mistake, but yeah. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is, good evening, everyone. I'm so happy to be here, so sorry I'm late. I just had uh, another meeting I just came out of, very busy these days, but I'm very excited as a uh, local artist here in Brockton to have participated and applied uh, for the cultural, uh, local Co cultural council grant, and I applied for a grant as a writer, and uh, thank goodness and uh, thank to our local support from some key people in my life that um, I was applied for it and, uh, and was received actually um, uh, a grant enough to do what I want to do. What I want to do and what I will do, I'm going to write a book. And it's going to be called Brocktonian Voices. And the voices, that will be a random selection of people who may consider themselves Brocktonians. And I'll just, they'll just respond to some basic questions like, hey, how did you hear about Brockton? How long have you been in Brockton? And, um, and what question, what is your impression about Brockton now? What's your experience? And also, what is your involvement? Are you involved? Because if you're involved, that might make a, a world of difference in terms of your life experience here in Brockton. I want to hear about that. And also, the key question is like, how do you see a perfect or great Brockton? Or what can, uh, in your mind, your view, your experience, what can happen to make Brockton a really great city and it, uh, follow its, its motto? It says, uh, the city of champions. What can we do together as a community to make Brockton truly a uh, city of champions? And so that is the book. And so. Don't be surprised if I call you, right, uh, run into you and say, hey, would you like to be a participant in this book? And the book is going to serve as a, a nice guide, as confirmation, as consolation, as just comfort and information about Brockton, Hear, hearing from real people, people who live it and they have no reason to exaggerate. Because again, say, this is my experience. You know, for me, I've been in uh, Brockton, next year it's going to be 20 years. And so certainly I consider myself a Brocktonian and have lived through different experiences, uh, lived under a few different uh, mayors, and certainly a turnover on the city council. And I have my own ideas about Brockton, and I, but uh, truly Brockton is still really deep in my heart. I'm very hopeful. I think Brockton is uh, it's a constant evolution, as is this country, which is like an experiment. This country, the United States of America, is, is quite young, and so when something is young, there's a sense of hope that there is an opportunity to grow, to understand, and also to uh, produce some great results. And I think Brockton certainly has the potential with its diversity, its ongoing, with its uh, variety being an arts uh, hub, and it's growing to be more an artist. And as you know, as an artist, I'm an artist, is a, a gift from my heart, 
give because of passion. I give because it, it helps and encourages, uplifts, uplifts other people, and certainly I am encouraged by that. So I give, 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 and I'm uh, excited to uh, allow that book to be part of uh, something that will be a document here in Brockton, and certainly a, a copy will be at City Hall, the library, and even I want to usher a copy into the Boston Public Library. So it becomes a, a historical document uh, from the voices of people in Brockton who consider themselves Brocktonian. Uh, so thank you so much for this opportunity. Okay. And stay tuned. Yep. All right. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Dr. Okay. We had people attending, uh, starting to show up at uh, what we call church time. You publish an hour that you start, and then you know you show up whenever you know we get here. But we're glad that you're here. Uh, I always encourage people to get involved in the cultural council grants. Um, yeah. I've been a recipient four times now. Mm -hmm. uh, we do uh, a live Irish concert every March. Matter of fact, we're the first concert in the area yeah. every month, <laughs> every sure. March, and uh, we do she vocal bands and. Uh, so it's always been thrilling to do that, and the council council helps out with the expenses, and then we do lectures uh, at different times of the years. That's true. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a, besides being the pastor of a church and the owner of an IT company, I am a professional genealogist. Mm -hmm. So we have one of the well, Impressive actually, shopping. we have the largest genealogy library in Massachusetts that is open right now. Only because NEHGS in Boston is closed for renovations. As soon as they open in September, we'll be <laughs> the we'll second be, we'll be number two again. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, I I do I do lectures regularly, and I've been hired by a group, a small genealogy group on the South Shore, to uh, in September to give a presentation on the history of the shoe industry in Brockton. Oh, that's fun, yeah. That's very unusual for me. It's usually genealogy things. Um, so this one I have to do a massive amount of research for. Um, and uh, But I'm looking forward to it. So uh, we'll make sure it's announced. It's, it will be announced on uh, happeninginbrockton.com. And uh, we'll make sure that it's announced at several of our summer meetings here. Sure, uh, yeah. You know, because it, it'll, be of, it'll yep. be of interest to people. Yep. And uh, next month, I'm, I'm going to work on Anne getting here even earlier than she did tonight. Not only to get all the equipment set up, but I'm gonna, I've got a little stool down here that might work for her so you can see more than the top of her head and, uh, and, and train her to look at the camera ignore <laughs> the monitor that's over here. As nice as people look over on the camera here, we want her to look forward so you can see her. So, uh, so I'll be working on that for next month's meeting. Yep. Uh, that's on my to-do list. I put it in my planner on my com on my <laughs> phone so that <laughs> I can do that. But again, uh, we want to thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, if anybody ever attempts to tell you there's not nothing happening in Brockton, I can tell you they are lying to you. <laughs> okay? There is lots going on in Brockton and. I get a portion of it, and it shows up in happeninginbrockton.com, and then you know emails that fly back and forth, all yeah. talking about the great things that are happening here in Brockton, and uh, just encourage you to uh, help support these nonprofits uh, because they make a difference in our community. And For sure. Yep. You know, I have yeah. one more announcement well, to make. I, yep. knew, I knew if I talked long enough, no, no, no. Anne I was mean, and that's it. Else. No, this is important, really important. This is um, Signature Healthcare Broughton Hospital has their Walk for Cancer on Sunday, May 5th. Okay, and again, you can find out a whole lot more about that. And uh, so, all positives going on. And again, please tell us, we'll spread the word. And thank Broughton Community Access for everything. Thanks, everybody, who joined us. Have a nice night. Have a super hey, Ann, holiday Ann, weekend. Yeah. And wait a minute. Yeah. Um, did I have it right? Mask of slash guide slash raffle? Oh, mask of. 
Um, I'm going to look at it just to not mislead you. Oh, okay. no. Oh, no. We don't want any misinformation. No. What? It's yeah. government. Yeah. It's got to no, be no. misinformation. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no. It, it, this is wicked and important, too. Yeah. And like I said, we were blessed to have the training. All right. Here we go. Because I, it's www.mass.mass.gov backslash guides backslash guidance dash on dash raffles. Yeah. 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 Good night, guys. Hold, hold on a second. When, yeah. Where she said backslash, yeah. she means front slash. Oh, oh pardon me. Front yeah. slash. Yeah. I got you. Wait a minute. Think guidance dot, dash on dash okay. raffles. Raffle? Raffles. Yeah, it has to be, yeah, it has to be plural. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, and one more question, Ann. Sure. When is the drama club doing that play that they won the um, state championship? Oh, no, for? no. They're not going to do that one. They're going to do a musical. The one that they did that they won, um, it was Charlie's Aunt. And they can only be on stage for so long. So okay. that is... Um, what do I want to say? A little com a mixture of comedy and you know voice, but no, the musical is always top secret. Uh, I'm telling you, they they keep top secret more than the CIA. But um, it's always um, uh, usually it's uh, Mother's Day weekend or the weekend after, depending on how it falls for the students. So okay. uh, oh, we're just gonna keep on spreading. It. We're back here on May 9th, and the more we know, um, the more we'll let people know. Okay. Because okay. believe me, that's all great stuff going on. So thank you for joining us. Yes. Thanks, Ann. Okay. All right. Welcome. Thank you. And we'll see you yeah, on May, yep. May, May 9th. Mm -hmm. May 9th. Thursday at six, May 9th. At, um, let me make it a note. At 6 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> 6 p.m. Okay. Sometimes I have back-to-back -back meetings. Tonight yeah. I don't. I have a date with my bed. For some rest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night, everyone. Thanks. Thank you okay. for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.